but we're working as a team. That's what ultimately is going to happen. You're going to have one firefighter in one jump seat, one firefighter in the other jump seat. Whichever side the hydrant is on, that is my hydrant guy. The guy on the opposite side jump seat is going to be the acting engineer or the other firefighter. Okay, does everybody get that? So yes, sir. So the hydrant's on this side. Who's going to be my hydrant guy? This guy, right? Are we all see the hydrant there? Yes, sir. If the hydrant's on this side, who's my hydrant guy? Okay, my hydrant's on this side. This is my hydrant guy. Where's my engineer guy? This okay, side, sir. That side. Okay, pretty simple. Whatever side you end up on is the side that you you know what job you're supposed to do. Okay. So the first part of it is the firefighter who's going to take the hydrant or start the forward supply. Thing, okay. So everyone, uh, come over here. This side, just line up right here so you can see Engineer Stoker. Is the camera? Is it what? Is it really Move down just a little bit. Move down just a little bit. So, so we know where everything's at on the rig. Here's our tools. Hydrant wrenches, hose clamp, which will come into play later, right? Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Okay. First things first, when I give you an order, what do you do with that order? Repeat, repeat the order repeat back, back right? for confirming. Repeat it back so I know you know what you're talking about, right? So the order is going to be forward supply leg, take the hydrant. Forward, forward supply leg, take, take the, the hydrant. hydrant. There you go, see? When you're given the order and you repeat it back, immediately after that, you can start your process. First thing's going to be first, step off the rig safely with three points of contact, forward, right? As you're walking toward the back of the rig to grab your tool, you're going to be looking at the hydrant. I'm going to back up a little bit. You're going to be looking at the hydrant. You're going to be what's called sizing up the hydrant. What do you think that means, sizing up the hydrant? What kind of connections is that? Okay, good. But what does that relate to a lot? What type of hydrant, right? Wet or dry rail hydrant. What do I have? What do I need to do? What is that one? Oh, that's Wetter, right? sir. That means I have an operating stem for each orifice, right? That means that I can connect to it at a later time, whatever I don't use, right? Yes, but on a dry barrel, how does that differ? Well, where is the valve for? It's on top, right? There's only one valve, even if there's multiple orifices, right? Right. So that means if I want to use any of those other orifices at another time, I need to shut down the hydrant, right? Or before I charge that hydrant, I need to put some kind of valve on there to stop the flow of water, right? That's get that. So that's what I'm talking about, sizing up my hydrant. When I'm sizing up my hydrant, I'm also looking for other things like, is the hydrant up high? Is it down low? What happens if the hydrant is down low? And I know my hydrant wrench is going to make a full circle. What can I use? Not going to make a full circle. Yeah, not. Is that what I said? Not going to make a full circle. So ratcheting, ratcheting, ratcheting hydrant wrench. Or we can use our keyed hydrant wrench that has the different sizes on it, right? Does it mean it's going to fit one of those? Not necessarily, but your ratcheting hydrant wrench has a little adjuster on there so that you can adjust it to it and you can ratchet it, right? Because this one, is this significantly longer than that one? Yes, sir. Yeah, so it may not always make it all the way around on a hydrant, okay? So just something to think about. What type of hydrant, right? What tools or appliances you may need for that type of hydrant, as well as obstructions. Do you think all hydrants are always on concrete right there, wide open area? No, no they could be behind bushes, behind walls, and here, there, who knows where they could be. A tree could grow right next to it and make it hard to use. So, as I'm coming up, and I'm sizing up my hydrant, clear of all obstructions, or checking for obstructions, okay? At that point, we've done, we've stayed that. And anytime you're doing this operation, guys, be loud and clear of what you're doing, okay? Let me know, state to me what you're doing, okay? Grabbing this hydrant wrench. Everybody on this side, everybody come over here. He has his hydrant wrench. He's gonna shoulder his hose. So just like on a fire, we put our nozzle fire side, right? Yes, when we're getting a supply, we put our hose hydrant side, okay? Same concept. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, I hold both the hose and my tool in one hand, okay? Let's see what I do. So three points of contact, stepping off safely. And for the tall folks, you may want to kind of hold the hose down if you have to. Uh, but anyway, so we're coming off 45 degree angle, street side, past our hydrant. Try bring your hose a little closer. 10 to 15 feet past, okay? Then we're gonna wrap it. So I'm so Yeah. So now I can keep this easy way. So if you need to take more, if it's heavy like this, uh, you haven't been hitting the gym, anything like that, you don't want to be whipping around 15 feet of hose, right? You don't want to try, you don't want to try to be whipping it back here. So kind of grab, grab a little extra bit, 
come up to it, grab it like that, and then from here, oh, we're gonna go a couple different. Yeah, so that's around. the ultimate goal. We want to wrap the hydro, but we want to whip it and whip it around. That's the most efficient, easiest, fastest to be able to do this. But there are a couple other options. Yeah. So. very efficient, does it? Right here, you're burning time, right? Yes, sir. Ultimately, we want that nice little cross with our hose caught at the bottom of the hydrant, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so from here, so the other, other two ways are basically either just kind of wrapping it in the back or coming up and taking the chunk of the way up here, okay? Yes, sir. At no time are you putting your coupling down or your hydrant wrench down. It's in your hand at all times. So you okay? my left hand Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here. Hold on a second. A question. Yeah. Does it matter which way you wrap it? Yes, on the street side. So you're going to come this way with it, street side. You're not going to go curb side. This is street side. Okay. Right. And why is that? It's not going to get caught up on anything on the inside of the street. The engine's pulling against the hydrant. Right. Our hose is locked down there. I ain't caught up in all the crap. That being said, so we're gonna get to our C clamp. Okay, so I have the hose here, grip, my nice little C's here, athletic stance. The reason we're doing this is so that hose, if it gets caught on something, the engine just instead of getting caught on this or having this pick up and hit you, the engine is just gonna pull it right out of your hand. So where you can see something happening, you just drop it. Alright? Okay, so from here, be nice and loud. Lay a line! But before that, make sure you get line of sight to the engineer's mirror. So back up. So you may need to adjust over to make sure. You don't want the engineer trying to find you in the mirror. Get in his mirror like you're backing him, backing him up, right? In that type of position. Be in line of sight so that he can see you and see you say, not only motion lay line, but hear you hopefully say lay line, okay? Sir, yes, sir, sir. So from here again, hose and tool still on my left hand. Walk down the left side of the hose. Pick it up. Unwrap it, put it out into the street, and I can come start working on my hydrant. This is where I can set my hose down. Okay? Lay so your hose down right in front of your working space. You're going to want to crack your cap first. A lot of our caps are not plastic, they're still the old metal ones. They can be painted over, rusted. Maybe we haven't been doing our hydrant testing every year. Um, you know, all sorts of stuff can go wrong with them. So we do want to make sure we crack it and not just try and manhandle it and then have to come back to this anyways, right? So, yes, sir. So, get a good, nice, big, full turn. Take our hydro wrench off, set it on the stem. Again, my hydro wrench never hits it around. Take our cap all the way off, set it down. Look in here. Clear of all obstructions. Threads are good. All right? Now then we come here and we can flush our hydrant, right? Clear out any debris that might still be in the system. Watch out. Unless you want to keep standing there. So for the sake of the evolution, we're just going to crack it that much. Real life, we want to open it quite a bit more, make sure we have everything cleared out, right? Just remember guys, uh, hydrants that haven't been